thing we got to do, what was the mistake? The mistake we made is none of the brands was a luxury brand. All the black mm -hmm. brands, none of them was a luxury brand. But how do we create luxury, though? Luxury only becomes comes from the value that we put on it, right? Good, good place. No, no, no. Luxury comes from us having the money to buy luxury. That's the okay. only way we can get luxury, right? Mm -hmm. But we don't, we don't generate that kind of money here. Now, with my partnership with Gucci, right, I'm selling out in Japan. I'm selling out in Asia. I'm selling out in all those places where our culture is very powerful. Mm -hmm. So if we, wanna, if we want a luxury brand, we have to have a distribution that's powerful enough that we can get our brand in those countries. But what about all those drug dealers or rappers or whoever can afford, they can afford the fashion, the high fashion stuff, so why can't the black stuff have the same type of value? Oh, there's not enough of them. National. He's yeah, talking, I'm talking about around I'm the talking world. International now. And distribution even yeah, to get into those locations. Yeah, it's the same. Our market, who we are, is our culture. I'm not going to argue with black people in Harlem or in the United States about whether you want to buy luxury or not or put your money. If our culture is so powerful and it's selling around the world and somebody else is selling it, I want to get to where they're selling it at. Who are the influencers? We are the influencers. Our, our ability to influence is going all around the world. I'm concentrating on just getting this black money here. Why I can't get that global money if I got that global culture? But don't you think you could have made a Sean John, a Fat Farm, or any black brand just as cool and popping as you did the Gucci's and the Louis? Malcolm thought global. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Martin thought global. I'm thinking global. I'm not thinking about this here. You know, they catered to right here. I don't want to do that. Right, he's saying this is an established brand or global. I want to go global. So man. go into the established global brand, learn from that, and then you can establish your own global. Well, Malcolm brand. and Martin weren't global brands. They were they were brands that were started right here in America. But they took them once they got their foothold. Like I got their foothold. Then you go global. You can't go global till you get a foothold. So they but, had a foothold. But did you get your foothold through the streets? Yeah, I got my foothold through the streets. So once you get your foothold through the streets, then you could you had the potential to take no, any of I, those brands global. Because you're that I, for them. I didn't have, yeah, but I didn't have the distribution or the money. If, the, you know, if I had, if that a, was, uh, no, if that was possible, mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have to suffer while I was on the ground. If, if we had, if we had a sustainable economy among people of color, black people that can support a luxury brand, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have to be here. See, after, we make hot and we like what other people can't have, right? So it's like that's why a lot of us buy Gucci, buy Louis Vuitton, buy Chanel, buy those things because it's things that's limited. It's not too much of it. And that with places where a lot of times don't necessarily want to fuck with us. You know, we go into these stores, they still follow us around the stores. A lot of times we're the ones that's buying it and making it hot. Gucci recreated the outfit that you did years ago. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I get, he's saying like, why don't we create our own brands where we don't have to ask Louis for anything? And I'm saying we anything. could have made any black brand just as powerful and goes back to the argument with Dubois and Booker T Washington what you guys don't understand is we will create a Jim Crow economy let me tell you what I'm talking about mm -hmm. you know what Booker T Washington is saying like we could be equal like the fingers on the hand no we ain't gonna never be equal I come out with a luxury brand I don't have the power to make the moves like that so we get 20 30 or maybe 40 years for a cultural platform. Hip hop is a cultural platform. We have to move on that cultural platform. Now you want to be building on a cultural platform. So if we start out right now, say if we start out right now, start from the bottom, like you're telling these young people to start from the bottom and build your brand. By that time, hip hop done morphed into a, another cultural brand. You know, we got, we got Asians that do hip hop and do break dances like us. So once our culture, because a cultural inertia, once it circles the planet, we only get a certain amount of time and it's speeding up at the, you know, social media speed. You're going to have to transform into the next stage. Right. They didn't have the knowledge that they needed to, to grow. But hip hop did. So hip hop kept growing and they stood still and died. We can't have that happen again. Music had to get with a major distributor. What's the difference? What's the difference between I, a musical major distributor and somebody over here getting a, a, a clothing distributor until we powerful? Right, you're right. They I made think billions I, no, and no. gave us scraps I think until we figured it out and then created our own lane. And think, that's what we're doing again. But I got to step in and figure it out. But you got in to figure it out. I, I agree with you, but I think mm -hmm. the one fundamental... Once we do our homework, then we can have intelligent conversation. Yeah, I don't, I don't know.